Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics. We're doing a micro streaming tutorial video series and this video is on knowing your computer, what it can do and how to turn that computer into a live streaming machine. So without further ado, let's get started. So here I am in our virtual set. That was a stinger effect that you just saw, um, kind of transitioning us in between um, both of those, uh, those videos there. And uh, behind me, I've got our microstreaming.io uh, video um, tutorials that are already published. Right now, we're re-recording, or we're recording a second series. So let's take a look at what that second series is. So series one had a whole bunch of basic stuff. Now we're going into part two because we've had so many questions about what type of computer we need, what type of graphics card, how we build the channel like this, which has got the overlays, the virtual sets, the um, you know television style effects. So we're going to do a video on that. And then we've got some really great streaming tips that have been uh, coming to light uh, you know, just in the recent months. So... Um, here we're talking about knowing your computer and there's a couple different reasons why you might need to do that. To put on a really amazing live stream, you might have multiple um, pieces of equipment to, uh, to pull something like this off. So let's take a quick look at um, this slide full screen and uh, I want to just show uh, this a little bigger here. So here's the audio that we're using. Uh, I have a lapel microphone. Um, We've got um, a frame grabber to capture an additional PC. I have an iPad connected. Um, and then this is extras over here, video conferencing software. And you can see over here, we can actually stream this to like eight different live CDNs at the same time. And that's really going to be some powerful stuff we'll talk about in another video. But I wanted to show this slide to show that I'm doing that all with just this laptop. So you need to know your laptop and you need to know how many USB 2.0 ports you have and how many USB 3.0 ports you have. So you're going to want a 2.0 port for just basic stuff like maybe a wireless mouse. Um, but you also can use USB 2.0 for your audio inputs. Um, you don't really need USB 3.0 until you get to video. When you get to video, you need a dedicated USB 3.0 um, port for your video cameras most likely um, unless you're using like a cheap Logitech camera. Um, and uh, you want to be able to manage, do I have enough USB ports? Like frame grabbers always use USB 3. Same with really nice high quality pan tilt zoom cameras from PTZ Optics. So you need to figure out how many ports you have and how to use them effectively. Um, you can use hubs for USB 2, but for USB 3 you can't put a hub on there and then have like three USB cameras uh, coming in because there's a, a USB bus in the middle that will have bandwidth issues if you do that. So know your ports, obviously test them, figure out what you need, and then understand the CPU usage. And uh, what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a desktop capture um, to show off um, you know, my computer here. And we'll kind of merge over to this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Control-Alt-Delete here. And I'm going to show you guys the task manager. So let's take a look at the task manager. Um, Oh, Windows 10, it looks a little different, doesn't it? Um, and we'll put it right here. Can you guys see that? No, you guys can't see that. Never mind. Um, you just do Control Alt Delete, and you should be able to um, have the task manager there uh, to, to this picture right here to monitor the usage of your computer's CPU. Um, it's really important to do that. Make sure you're not going over 50 or 60%. You want to leave some headroom. Uh, especially if you're streaming and recording at the same time. So uh, take a look at that. Make sure you get a PC that's like an i7 with at least 8 or maybe 16 gigabytes of RAM to handle all this stuff. Now, if you are getting close to your CPU usage, you might be able to take a lot of the CPU usage off and dump it onto the graphics processing unit, the GPU. Uh, but you do need to enable Windows to do that. Uh, and you need to have an NVIDIA graphics card as well. So we're going to have a whole video just dedicated to enabling your graphics card to run uh, in, your, in your live streaming software. So I'm not going to talk too much about it, but make sure you get a good graphics card if you're shopping around. And then finally, uh, don't forget to optimize um, your, your workflow. So don't be running Dropbox and Chrome and all these other things if you absolutely don't need them. 
because uh, they will eat up your available memory. You might want to just run your live streaming software if you're getting close to maxing things out. Also, uh, for knowing your computer, think about the video outputs that you have. How can you use them? So um, right now, I am actually, I've got a local display here on my laptop, but I also have the HDMI out plugged into a projector so that I can see everything I'm doing and it looks like I'm looking right at the camera. So uh, if you're doing a one-man show, that's really important to be able to manage that HD video out um, to be able to use the live streaming software. It doesn't look like I'm looking at my computer the whole time. I'm actually looking up at a display that's showing me everything I need. Um, so that's everything. The only other thing you can do to, if you do want to, uh, one of the things we're going to talk about is live streaming to like uh, eight different CDNs at the same time. And you don't need your computer to, to, to uh, process all of that information. There's uh, streaming solutions out there such as Restream.io and Joycaster.co that take a single RTMP stream and then send it out to eight different CDNs for you. So you can take that processing power off of your computer, uh, which is a great way to, um, to get that live streaming um, you know, out to tons of different places without having to take a whole bunch of your, um, of your, your CPU usage up. So here's a little um, picture of our website, uh, the micro, or sorry, the microstreaming.io website. There's the tutorial videos there. Um, these videos will be playing there, and you should be. There's going to be about 20 videos here that didn't take very long to create, but a lot of thought and process went into it. Um, so take a look. They're all going to be right here at microstreaming.io. And as always, if you found this helpful, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take a look at some of our other playlists. We have free virtual sets below. Um, which can help you get started on a lot of this stuff. So thanks for watching. Bye, guys. See you in the next video.